gospel choir followed by our sacred scripture reading and then our prayer of comfort joys are flowing like a river since the Holy quiet. 
Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Amen. Amen. God's word for God's people. All right. Amen. I'll also be reading from John 14, verses 1 through 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go away to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself. So that where I am, there you may be also. God's word is for his church. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, family. I'm not sure I was something out of the sauce. So I prepared to pray for you. Because we've always already said that we demand do it for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. That means there's an expiration date to your feet. As I prepare to pray, there's, I have a comment about something. I witnessed this brother give his life to Christ. Thank you, One thing I know for certain, right on our last Thursday, I witnessed and saw what he did. Bless you. Even before then, see, all that sin has come short of the glory of God. So everybody That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So the reality is, I know the lives that he's touched. Oh, yeah. That's right. The life that he lived. Yeah. And what I'm more concerned about is he ain't got to worry about nobody. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Tears should be for yourself. There you he go. still got to go through. <laughs> but one thing that he knew is the Lord was his shepherd. Right? Amen. I don't know what you knew, but I know that he knew who the Lord was. Right. And he knew that he belonged in the kingdom. That's but right. Good. Right. So let us go to the Lord. When peace, like a river, attendeth my way, when sorrows, like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, gracious and all wise God, come to me now as humble as we know how, first of all, say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for the life that was lived yeah. and the battle that was won. Oh, yeah. Lord, we pray right now for this mother and these siblings and his children. Yes, Lord. All those who love them now, God, whose eyes are stained with tears and those hearts are feeling broken. But God, I know. I know that you are mighty good. Yes. And 
Lord, I'm praying right now that your Holy Spirit would just sweep through this place. Yes, right yes, yes. Lord, touch our spirits, God, that we may know the sign. Help God Almighty that, that, that we serve a God yes. that hears that answers. Yes, we serve a God that hears when we're in the mouth. God Almighty. That same God can fit the mouth and went down. Lord, I thank you for saving my brother. Lord, I thank you that for transporting him safely yes. to his resting place. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the life that he lived. Lord, thank you for his yes. Yes. When he loved, Lord, he was a friend to friends. Yes, sir. Lord, I pray right now thank you, Lord. that his living was not in vain. Thank Lord, I pray that someone will remember the good times. Thank yes. you, God. Lord, even in his actions, yes. we can still call his name. Yes. We can still remember the songs that precious memory. Yes. How they leave. Yes. How they ever flood us. All right. Then, Lord, I pray for those who are remaining or left them. If they don't know you, God, I pray that you will introduce yourself. Yes, sir. That you know that you're a Jehovah child. Yes. That you will be there with God. Yes. Be there God, Lord, when they're godless and when they need someone to come by. Lord, I pray, God, that you'll fill it together. Lord, I'm just praying, God, that we will know without a shadow of a doubt that you have truly promised never leave us nor forsake us. Yes. So Lord, I pray that in our lonely hour, you'll come in our room and just sit with us. Then I pray for everyone in the sound of our voice, God, that we may be strengthened today, that we may know God. Thank you, Lord. That we got a God that's a leading. Yes, yes. We got a God yes, who's yes. walking the valley of shadow. He's a confident God. Thank we got a God with that God and have a leading who can carry our burdens. Lord, I put us all in your hand. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Love us like only you can. Only you can. Lord, I thank you. God. Thank you, God. For what you're about ready to do. Yes, Lord. Pray for the man's children who would bring the growth word of life. Yes, that someone, Lord, someone might be confident by your word. Oh, it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. Amen. Let y'all know to thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm nervous. Right. Okay. But anyway, thank you for any type of prayer you sent up, any type of love, acknowledgement on behalf of the family. We just say thank you. Mm -hmm. And it was several cards received, and we only one. Actually, I'm only going to actually read a couple. And then um, I have two letters that I have to read. In this difficult time, may peace and love surround you. Love and thoughts keeping you in our in all our prayers. Love Cynthia and Keith Bradshaw. To comfort your heavy heart, soften the world around you, and remind you that we care, knowing that love and thoughts surround you, especially now. We are praying for you and your entire family. That God will continue to give you your strength during this difficult time. Bishop Cherry and Lady Young. Good morning, Star Family. But I hope you know, I'm sorry, words words say little say so little when sorrow is so big. But I hope you know I'm thinking of you now and care about you always. That's the rich man. Thanking God for your loved ones and thinking of you with sympathy during this difficult time. Robert and Tracy Rushing. <coughs> um, when we think of you today, but that, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and the days before, too. We think of you in silence. We often speak of your name. We are, all we have are memories of us and your picture in a frame. Your memory is a keepsake, keepsake from which we'll never part. God has you in his arms, and we have you in our heart. 
This is from um, his children, daughters, Kristen, Tortoy, Michelle, and Lamont. Hey, Daddy, if I wrote about a book about you, I would call it my very own Superman. Daddy, you have always been a blessing to me. Throughout the 31 years of my life, I remember repeatedly playing Beyonce's song called Daddy when I was younger and getting emotional because that's how much I loved you. You showed me how a man supposed to love me. You were so perfect in my eyes. You could never do any wrong. Your smile could brighten up the darkest room. You are fun, silly, patient, and just an amazing person to be around. And I love you, and, and you love me and your grandbabies unconditionally. Daddy, your love will, be, will forever be imprinted in my heart. I wish I could have thanked you for everything that you've done for me or taught me. But Daddy, you didn't teach me how to live life without you. Continue watching over us. Continue watching over your grandbabies. I love you so much. Until we meet again, your baby. Toy toy. Oh, I'm sorry. In the obituary, y'all can read so I in the inside um y'all program. So I do have one more. I'm sorry. God is on the throne. God gives me hope when there is none. God gives me his life when my candle burns short. God gives me peace when our world is in turmoil. God gives me strength when I am weak. God gives me love when no one else cares. I give him all the praise and all the glory. Without him, I can do nothing. My God is good. God, I put my trust in him forever. Miss Alice Clark. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. After a while, beyond the beyond the sky, and the everlasting love. After a while, after a while, 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brothers, family, Thank and you. friends. What an honor and privilege it is to stay here today. Talk about baby. Yeah. Yeah. Talk baby. about the word of the Lord. Revelation chapter 21, <coughs> verse 2 through 7 says, I saw the holy city of New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautiful dress for her husband. <clears throat> and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes All and right. there will be no more death, no more mourning, no crying or pain. All right. For the former and the older things have passed. Away. All right. He who has seated on the throne said, I am making all things new. Mm -hmm. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and, and the, the Omega, Omega. the all beginning right. and, and the end. end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of water. Verse 7, those who are victorious all right. will inherit all of this. And I will be their God, and they will be my children. I'm interested. Jesus said, I make all things new. Mm -hmm. right. Brothers and sisters, if you wanted a good laugh, just be around baby. <laughs> if you wanted a good time, be around Baby. Right. Now, the fact is, some of y'all know a little more better about that than the rest of them. Come on. Yeah, man. Right. Uh, uh, a basketball player, a sport loving, singing man, a piano player, yes. just a talented man all the way around. Yes, he was. They used to call Baby and Michael and, and Wet and go out to the farm and they would call them city slippers. <laughs> now, I wasn't there, I just heard the story. <laughs> and uh, you see, Pop Brownie, if you know anything about the brown side of the family, they're farmers and hunters, they're outdoors. I mean, come on, get somebody. So, I guess when Michael and Bay Bay and Wetney would go out, uh, they, would, they would get called city slickers because y'all ain't gonna pray with me. <laughs> uh, uh, if you needed help, Bay Bay was there to help. Amen. Uh, I was over at Aunt Sif's house the other day, and I won't call the man's name, but he come in the door and stood at the threshold of the door crying and weeping, talking about Bebe and how Bebe had helped him and how he was there, uh, Bebe was there for him, and, and how Bebe would give you the shirt off his back. I saw this man as he stood in the threshold of Aunt Sif's doorway, amen, crying and weeping because he had lost a friend. And a brother. Now, Bebe was a clean man. Yes, he was. Come on here, somebody. Yes, he was. Uh, always sharp. Yes, always sharp. Uh, we see that as a testimony today. Come on here. Uh, smiling and profiling. Uh, yeah, he had that smooth walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a smile that would light up a room. Come on, here. see. I never saw Bebe that he wasn't sharp. I don't care what he had on. But y'all, he was always yes, sharp. He always sharp. Uh, it, it's yeah, man. see. Uh, now, I know Bebe's last name is Clark. Uh, but he was brown. Come on here, somebody. He was brown. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, see. Uh -huh. uh, every one of you this afternoon is a witness, and sometimes for better, sometimes for worse, a recipient of the difficulties, the beauty, and the uniqueness of who they was. No uh, the question you can thank on today, Reverend Austin, and the memories is, in what ways did he touch your life? How 
uh, did he let you know you were important and matter to him? All right, man. Uh, the questions you can raise as we sit here on this day. What did he do or say uh, which you will always be grateful for? All right. uh, what's the best story he ever told you? What adventures did he take you on? And what did they, they teach you? What did he make and give you? What are your funniest stories about baby? And what are the saddest stories? What are your best times with him and what are your most difficult times? What are the stories of you and baby that melt your heart? What are the stories that break your heart? What are the stories that you won't tell? Come on here, somebody. All right, man. Uh, what are the conversations you wish you could have with him now? What would you say? Mm -hmm. What would you do differently? The question is, what do you need? From baby, here's why I ask those questions. It is so easy on days like today to categorize our answers to those kind of questions, Reverend Austin, and our relationship with the one who died as being uh, either experiences that remain in the past right. or hopes and desires for a future that can never be. Mm -hmm. Either way. Brothers and sisters, it can feel as if all has been lost and nothing new can come from what was. Right. But I don't think, I don't think that's how they, they lived or even how he died. And it's certainly not what the scripture tells us today. In the gospel of John, chapter 37 through 40, Jesus says, and this is the will of him who has sent me. That I should lose nothing of all that he has given me. Nothing, nothing is ever finally and forever lost. That doesn't turn back the clock or undo what has happened. Uh, but it means that life is changed. Uh, but not in you. Come on here. Uh, yeah, I come to tell somebody this afternoon that this is not the end. Uh, the book of Revelation, we read it. Just momentarily ago, the Bible says, see, I make it all things new. Uh, not some things or a few things, uh, but all things. Uh, I remember having a conversation with Bebe one day many years ago. I uh, see there's some things you remember about people, whether it's good or bad. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Uh, yeah, and we were talking about the word of God, and he, he told me to pray for him and keep up the good work. But our short conversation was about the book of Revelation, about his mama, and about singing. Come on here, somebody. He came by the church one afternoon. We were having a fish fry. Y'all ain't going to pray with <laughs> And uh, he got out the car, and he had his head on. Y'all going to pray with <laughs> He had his nice shirt on and his nice pants and his shoes. He got out, and I looked at him. I said, Lord, the man thinks he's coming to church. Y'all ain't going to pray with him. <laughs> And he, he came and we stood on the stoop of that church, Lord Hammerson, talking about the good book, the book of Revelation, and among other things. But 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 what do you think, brothers and sisters? Was it a long conversation or a short conversation? The fact is, yeah, they, they had some things to say. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he had some things to say Amen. that they children about life and about his mama and about his grandchildren. Come on here, somebody. And I, I believe he trusted what it said. I know it did. Uh -huh. See, maybe that's what allowed him to carve the path uh -huh, that he walked on. Uh -huh. Maybe that's what allowed him to be the man that he was. See, the Bible says, uh, I'm making all things new. Making new prevents the past from having the final word. Right. It keeps the present moment from closing in on itself. Mm -hmm. And it opens the door to the future. Yeah. Uh, see again, the Bible says I'm making all things new. Right. I hope you will hold on to those words. Okay. And let them ring in your ears and rest in yeah. your heart. Yeah. Right. I see her children, let them be a daily encouragement. All right. uh, they are a thread that runs That's through right. everything yeah. that we do and what we say. Yeah. 
They are God's truth for baby. And there is God's truth for you and I. Yes, see, here's the thing that strikes me about those words. Yes. Especially on days like today. God awaits nothing of our lives. Nothing is a lost and all is being made anew. CS on February the 5th, life began to change. Good God Almighty, but I come to tell somebody just because a life has changed doesn't mean life is ended. So let me ask you this question now. What needs making new in your life? What is the happiest you've ever been? What are your best hopes and your prayers? What does making new mean and look like to you? Maybe you need to celebrate and thank it. Maybe you need to tell it you love it. Maybe you need to tell it things you ain't tell it before. Maybe you need to tell him what blessed you and yes. what helped you. I, I gotta get out of here, but I don't know uh, about you. Right? And I don't know when things are happening new in your life. All right. But on February the 5th, 2024, uh, at the hospice care home, uh, they may have a new day gone. Yes. Yes. God called uh, and he answered well. uh, on February the 5th. Uh, Due to the condition at the cemetery, we will conduct the committal service inside. However, at the end of the service, the family will be traveling to the cemetery to observe the interment. But we will ask once you arrive, please remain on the paved section. Uh, according to the cemetery workers, the ground is unstable due to the excessive rain. At this time, we give our attention to the Reverend for the committal service, please. The Bible declares, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me and my father's house of many mansions. When I saw, I would have told you. At this time, we've come to commit babes. 
body and spirit back to the Lord. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection when the dead in Christ shall rise first. The trumpet shall sound and those that remain shall be caught up together in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. I'm going to ask if Reverend Austin would come and give us our closing prayer. My Father, who is our Hallowed be thy name. Yes, Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Yes, Lord. Earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day. This day. Our daily bread. Yes, Lord. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debts. Lord, lead us not into temptation. Yes. But deliver us yes. from all evil. Yes. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever. Amen. Amen. If you come to the end of this celebration, the role of Robert Anthony Clark, better known as Bay Bay, he must now say farewell. But it's only farewell because in the light of the legal system of the end, this is the beginning of a brand new life. It has been stated in that he did all he could for everybody to get cured for as long as he could. So therefore, there was a prayer prepared for him. We thank these pastors for taking time to yes. come and share comfort with this family. To the many friends, this time they are very appreciative of every act of kindness you have shown them. And I'm sure as time passes and that healing began, they will thank you individually for your kindness. But we do ask that you continue to pray for this time. And to the family, let me say that even in times like this, God is still good. Yeah, and his grace yes, is sufficient is. and it will be made perfect for your needs. Yes. And he will go near to you. If you will only call his name. Amen. Thank you for allowing Shaw the opportunity to serve you. Yes. It is our desire that God bless you that you continue to trust in him. After the benediction, this will be the service for Brother Robert Anthony Clark, better known as Amen. Amen. May the grace of God, Amen. sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest with your life with you henceforth and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. As previously stated, no services will be conducted at the cemetery. At this time, we'll invite the social ministers and pastors to lead us out. I need one lady, if you would please, to serve as a flower there. If you would come forward at this time, family or friend. I need six gentlemen who will serve as flower bearers, family or friend. Six gentlemen.